This is Mi Band 8, I found some upgrades that can be quite noticeable compared to Mi Band 7. First, let's do a quick unboxing. The box is simple just like the previous series. The Mi Band 8. Charging cable. User manual. For the charger, it is recommended to use a 5V phone charger with a maximum current output of 1 ampere. If you want to buy Mi Band 8 Chinese versions like mine, there are a few things to consider. First, I tried pairing it using Zap Life, but it didn't work. A band was not found. If you use the Mi Fitness app, you need to set it up first. We need to set region to China. If you set the region to other countries, the band most likely cannot be paired or found. Also, if your phone language is English, the band language will also be English. But if your phone uses non-English language, the band language would be Mandarin. In Mi Band 7, we could directly choose the language on the band itself. But in Mi Band 8, this option is not available, at least for now. Usually after the global version is widely available and the firmware updates are released, there will be more language options and they can be selected directly on the band. Just for your information, most of the features in Mi Band 8 can be used normally even if the region is set to China. Now, what's new in Mi Band 8? The most noticeable change is its design. It now uses a strap with a clasp like this, instead of strap that wraps around the body like the previous Mi Band series. So it's clear that we cannot use Mi Band 7 strap for Mi Band 8. Mi Band 8 is slightly longer and wider in size, however, Mi Band 8 is slightly thinner. Although due to its body design, Mi Band 8 looks even bulkier than Mi Band 7. It is said that the body is made of metal. Maybe it is made of zinc alloy because it is lightweight and non-magnetic. Mine is glossy black but there is also a shiny silver version available. Both models have the same screen size and resolutions. The difference lies in the screen brightness, where Mi Band 8 has a slightly brighter screen at 600 nits compared to 500 nits on Mi Band 7. Additionally, Mi Band 8 has an auto brightness feature but of course, we can turn it off or adjust the brightness manually. Mi Band 8 now uses a 60Hz screen refresh rate whereas Mi Band 7 uses 30Hz screen refresh rate or half of the Mi Band 8. This difference is noticeable because I feel navigating menus on Mi Band 8 feels more responsive and smoother. Another difference is that besides being worn on the wrist, Mi Band 8 can also be placed on shoes to analyze running movements more accurately. We will test this feature later. It can also be used as a necklace or pendant with separately sold accessories. The design of the sensors on Mi Band 8 also looks different. While Mi Band 7 had two LED lights and one sensor, Mi Band 8 combines the red and green LEDs and the other is the sensor. With this design change, I hope it will improve the sensor accuracy. Some watch faces on Mi Band 8 can be used as mini games. Mi Band 7 can also be used to play games, but the installation process is slightly more complicated. In Mi Band 8, we can find and install it easily through the watch face installation page on Mi Fitness app. I have only found 3 games so far, but most likely it will be more in the future. Mi Band 8 uses larger and stiffer charging cable compared to Mi Band 7, so I guess the Mi Band 8 charging time will be faster. We will test this later and also the battery life test. For other aspects, it is still similar to Mi Band 7, such as 5 ATM water resistance, always on display, no built-in GPS, and other features and fitness tracker function are similar. So, based on my 3 days of usage, is it worth upgrading from Mi Band 7 to Mi Band 8? Well, if we talk about the design aspect only, in my personal opinion, I really like it and I think it's worth upgrading. But maybe after the price has dropped a bit. The design of Mi Band 8 feels different to me, giving it more a premium look, especially when paired with leather, Milanese, or chain style straps. The Mi Band series can finally be used as a fashion accessory. But if we talk about the features, the notable upgrade is the ability of Mi Band 8 to be placed on shoes or used in pebble mode. This reminds me of the Honor Band 5 Basketball Edition. When attached to shoes, it is said that we can obtain data on stride frequency and length and the foot impact force on the ground. We will test this on the Mi Band 8 review video. Apart from the design, the pebble and necklace mode, more responsive screen and auto brightness feature, there doesn't seem to be any significant difference compared to Mi Band 7. 
so it's all up to you if you feel the need to upgrade or not. For your info, I don't have Huawei Band 8 yet, but I think it will be a good competitor for Mi Band 8. I will compare it after I have Huawei Band 8. But I can say for now, I'm pretty satisfied with Mi Band 8. I hope this video is helpful to someone. I'll see you in the next video and thank you for visiting Gadagamix channel.